Okay guys, meet Ryan Topper, the new Sentry or Ryan Sentry. He's been taking out all these little um, like teenagers or young adults that have the Sentry's powers and pretty much absorbing them to himself to become the one Sentry. This is the Sentry issue too, and we get to find out more people who actually have the Sentry's powers. And Ryan Topper is going around uh, New York and Pennsylvania pretty much killing them, taking their powers, and now he met the Avengers in Dallas, Texas. We saw what we see Misty Knight and Jessica Jones in the Brooklyn Community Center, right? So figuring out about this kid who was playing dodgeball and he was immune all along, but then we find out he actually had the Sentry's powers and he blew up like half the fucking gym and ran off and they don't know where he went to. They find his tracks in Pennsylvania, but we know that fucking Ryan Topper killed him in the last issue, just went right in the chest and absolutely killed him. They're trying to figure out like where the fuck he went. They don't know he's fucking gone, but on the moon, we see Mallory, right? The, the chick in the wheelchair that was at, works at Daily Bugle with, Brent, uh, with Ben Yurk. She's still on the moon, like pretty much sad about blowing up a whole apartment. Ryan Topper shows up to her and he's like, listen, you should use your powers for good. But he realizes she doesn't have that much of the Sentry's powers as the other people on Earth. So he kind of just says, like, leaves her off and just says, fuck off, basically. But he's trying to just, like, convince her to come back to Earth. But he really just wants her powers. This guy right here named Marv Chow were introduced to. He's, like, an illusionist. And he's just in New York trying to do, like, some illusions, whatever. And he's like, I can catch a bull with my, with my teeth. This guy comes out of the blue, a murderer, and just shoots him. He wasn't part of the act at all. But we see the Sentry's powers right here, like, fruition. And this is from the 2005 run. And Marv Chow gets shot at and he's like, oh my God, he's fucking dead. But he gets the Sentry's powers and flies away. And he starts chasing down the murderer who fucking shot him to this back alley. But then we see Ryan Topper behind them. He kills them both, like straight up. I was like, what the fuck? And then we're introduced to this new chick named Rosiana who works at, uh, in Times Square. And she talks about the Keenan Black event and the stuff that's going on in Game War, how everything's been fucked up while we see these people uh, doing a, a theft and robbery. Her powers of the Sentry come out into fruition and she knocks them all out and grabs all the stuff they stole but blacks out like half of fucking manhattan ryan topper shows up after fucking killing the marv guy because he's only a few blocks away and kills her too and takes her fucking powers back on the moon we see mallory pretty much saying like i can use my powers for good and she goes to the mediterranean sea where people are in a fucking like a a storm in the in the sea whatever and she goes helps them like i said her powers are not as strong as the others but i feel like we're gonna get to see more about her powers she might be the strongest one that's why i feel like it's gonna happen as but as of right now she's the weakest one and she saves them and she goes around the earth trying to save them all, save them all pretty much that need help misty knight and jessica jones still can't figure out about the connections about all this shit like how are they getting the century's powers or whatever i believe the next issue they're gonna figure it out at the end of the avengers are fighting these fucking aliens in dallas texas when we see ryan topper looking like the century i'm like this is bad badass.